I'm gonna just rebel and not wear my rain jacket because we talked about how much I hate rain jackets, so I'm just gonna not do that. Okay, so we're gonna go over the upstream side of the poke now, okay? So same thing like I do before, come in, up, out, twist your body so you can poke down at what you're going at. And what that's gonna do, that twist is gonna put your fly a little more upstream. So you can do this without twisting, okay, but your fly is gonna land really close to you. That little twist, that little twist right here is gonna keep your eyes on the fly and square you up right to where you need to be for a parry poke. And this is gonna be one of your most powerful casts because you literally lay your line down here and then it's 180 degrees and it's gone as long as you have constant motion. And we're still using the same technique. We're coming in first, in, up, out, around, and twist. Okay, in, up, out, twist, poke down, around, and go. In, up, out and around, poke. And this is if you have like, I like this cast when you've got really heavy sink tips and really heavy flies, cause it helps. Cause sometimes we have all that heavy gear. It's, it's hard to place your anchor properly. So with this, if you have a really heavy line or fly, you can place it where you want Okay, and then you can get a lot of power this way when you're going into your D loop. And you should feel and see the water ripping here, okay? If you're not feeling that rip or not feeling any pull whatsoever, you're not doing it right, okay? And if you're not feeling it, chances are you're coming in too tight. The greatest thing about Skagit is the first out and around. When you go out and around, you hook, you hook your line up instantly. Instead of coming in, when you guys come in too tight, they lose all load with their rod and their line. So that first out and around motion uh, helps you pick up that tension. So one more time, in, up, twist, poke down, out and around and through. In, up, out, and around. In, up, out, twist, poke down. 180 and gone. And again, we're still staying really tight to our sides, okay? We're not gonna drift too much with our arms because we won't be working uh, smarter. We'll be working harder and we'll be doing more pushing instead of pulling. So in, up, out, Poke down, around, and go. In, up, out, touch, poke down, around, and go. So a big problem that some people have too is when they poke, they either poke too far out or they po poke too close to them, okay? So the worst thing you can do is come up here, okay, and poke way out there, okay? You see how it, it totally messes up your, uh, your anchor, right? So you literally wanna kinda let gravity do its thing, okay? Let your rod tip fall. So up, out, and around, okay? Now just let your rod fall. Around and go, okay? So don't come down too tight and don't poke out too far unless you're trying to get away from brush. You want this thing to almost spaghetti, just wrap up like spaghetti right in front of you. So just, again, let gravity take your rod tip to the floor, okay? So again, we're gonna go in, up, out, around. Okay, gravity down, around, and go. Okay. 